CNIB presents Know Your Rights. A woman sits in front of a light gray background. My name is Shelly Adams and I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia and I have a guide dog. Shelly and her guide dog, a black lab, are standing outside. Shelly puts a harness on her guide dog. I've had a dog in my life since 2006 and I can't imagine going a day without it. Shelly and her guide dog walk through the community. I just feel so confident and comfortable when I'm out navigating the community with him. Rookie's my guide dog and he's got a very interesting background. He was raised in Ottawa by the graphic designer of the Ottawa Senators, so he spent pretty much every day of his training at the arena with the, the team. He's an amazing guide dog. Shelly's story. As a guide dog handler, I often encounter barriers when accessing car services. Shelly and her guide dog are standing outside. A black car pulls up. The driver looks at the dog. I'm allergic to dogs, ma'am. I can't take dogs in my vehicle. But he's a guide dog. You can't refuse us. Not my problem. But it's illegal for you to refuse us. The car drives away. He has the right to be there. He is an extension of me. He's my eyes. He keeps me safe. Guide dogs are the oldest type of service dog there is. They've been around the longest. And we really shouldn't be dealing with these issues. So what are my rights? Under Nova Scotia's Blind Persons Rights Act, guide dog handlers cannot be denied access to services and facilities that are normally available to the public. This means that, aside from a few exceptions, drivers must transport guide dog handlers and their guide dogs to their destination. If the driver doesn't, the police can charge the driver under the Blind Persons Rights Act. In some cases, there are legitimate reasons as to why a driver may not be able to transport a dog. This does not mean that the driver can just cancel the ride or drive away. Let's take a look at what should have happened in this situation. Shelly stands outside with her guide dog. The driver looks at Shelly's guide dog. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'm severely allergic to dogs. I can't take you. But he's a guide dog. You can't refuse us unless you have a doctor's note on file. I do have a doctor's note on file. Can I help you in some other way? Sure. Would you mind calling another cab and uh, waiting with me until it gets here? Sure, no problem. I'll do that right now. Everyone has the right to a car service, whether you have a guide dog or not. Shelly and the driver stand outside waiting for the second car to arrive. Oh, your car's here, ma'am. Okay. Just to your right. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. It's really frustrating because I just want to get places just like everyone else. I want to be the person to really address the issue and, you know, change it so that we don't have to continually worry when we call a car service. To learn more, visit cnib.ca slash knowyourrights. This video was created with generous funding from the Law Foundation of Ontario. While financially supported by the Law Foundation of Ontario, CNIB is solely responsible for all content.